Coaches, today we're going to take a look at the Lady Bulldogs of Georgia and their impressive 22-12 and 12 record. They have a new coach and new philosophy, so let's see how their offense stacked up against their biggest rivals. Also, in the comments section, if you want to go ahead and leave a comment on what you prefer better, whether I'm drawing this on a whiteboard, showing you game film, or if there's a certain way that you want to see these offenses uh, taught. Let me know in the comments. Thanks again, and let's get started. We're going to start with Georgia running their uh, four high offense. And as we play, we'll see here, they bring the ball down. Typically, this player is a little bit higher here. Is the point guard passes the ball in. They do a side pick and roll. And their big looks to kick it back down to the other big. Here, they drive it up. So if we take another look real quick, when they bring the ball up, all right, typically they'll set this four high alignment here. The ball goes into the wing, point guard gets a screen, ball handler gets a screen for pick and roll, and then the other big usually looks to pass down, and then the other big has the option to drive. All right, in this next possession, they're bringing the ball down, and a lot of times when you run this four high, you're gonna see that this wing it can't just stand out there and get the ball, so a lot of times they'll come down and then shoot out to the wing so they can get the pass. So the point guard brings it up, passes, cuts through, then they get a high pick and roll on the wing, kick the one that cut through, and then they're just playing in space. All right, here they're gonna bring the ball down. And you're gonna see we have this, again, four high alignment, but the entry all runs the same. The action runs the same. Pass to the wing, cuts through. This big sets a screen for that. Point guard cutting through, now sets a pick and roll from the wing, drop down, and a missed shot. I also want to take this time. George runs a quick little, just a quick box set out of a timeout you'll see that they're lined up on the box. And then what they're gonna do is just set a, a double screen here. The point guard will dribble over looking for this low post. So here comes the screen, one, two, ball's dumped down. Pass a little high, takes a little bit of time, but she's gonna work in there, hit the open shooter. All right, something else Georgia uh, really runs a lot of is just a high pick and roll screen. So you'll see on this possession, one of the bigs comes up, sets that high screen, rolls, and there's the foul. You can see right here, 41 seconds left, at the end of the half, and we just got done watching a high pick and roll. You're gonna see the same thing here. They set that high ball screen, and here LSU chooses to go underneath. A lot of examples we'll see, they choose to go underneath so just a high pick and pop. Take one more look at it. High screen, pull up, nailed it. Uh, we've looked at the four high. We've looked at a little bit of the high pick and roll from Georgia. And now we're gonna take some time and look at some horns sets that Georgia runs. So here what we have is um, Georgia sends her two bigs up to go ahead and screen there. And again, Alicia Lewis. Pops a three. All right, another horn set. Georgia brings the ball down. You'll see that there are two bigs. Come up to set that. She takes the screen, shoots another three. Here we can see uh, Georgia against Georgia Tech. And they're going to come back up to the horn set. Two bigs come up the screen. But Alicia Lewis is not our point guard that's in right now. So our point guard doesn't attack very hard. They switch, they're able to recover. There's not in the downhill attack. And so that the, the horns set gets stalled. Luckily they get bailed out with a foul from Georgia Tech. All right, and then after the horns, let's look at, we're gonna look at two set plays that Georgia runs when they come out of a, of a timeout. If it's not a box set, they usually will show up with this play right here. You'll see Alicia Lewis bringing the ball up. What you're gonna see is a high pick and roll like they normally, you've seen them set up. 
But then what it turns to is a pin down. Pin down for the shooter to come up. Chance of making a shot. All right, this time George is going to run the same pin down. So Lewis brings the ball up. They look for that high pick and roll. Then that pin down comes. But this time Georgia Tech's defender is ready for that. So they have the big flash to the high post. And they have somewhat of a, a little bit of a flare screen, not quite, but they do end up getting it to that wing that had that pin down. She drives in, goes for the shot, gets the foul. Last thing we'll look at here is Georgia has a 12 point lead. 106 on the clock. And you can see their coach right here, tell them to stay low. They kind of go four flat on the bottom. And they let one of their best drivers come in, pull up, two points. Pretty much nail in the coffin for that game right there. So as you can see from these examples, Georgia's offense has a few box sets, four high uh, alignment with their, their pick and rolls, high screens, horn sets, and some pin downs from those high screens.